soldiers of the 2nd Engineer Battalion conducted the final Sapper Steel Stakes training competition to be run on White Sands Missile Range, January 28th and 29th. Sapper Steel Stakes is a competition the battalion holds regularly to test a variety of skills and abilities important to the combat engineer. The events vary slightly from competition to competition, but every competition focuses on combat engineer skills, infantry and basic soldier skills, and stress-based challenges that force the soldier to rapidly transition from physically demanding challenges to ones that require fine motor skills or a focused mind. While the events are more challenging than conventional training, making it a competitive event allows the soldiers to get that important time in the field while keeping the training exciting and fun. This, this training right here, sir, is, I mean, it's, it's the best kind you can get because it's, I mean, it's hands-on, it's fun, it's competitive, it, it makes you want to do it versus like most of your other types of training. Beginning early in the morning, the soldiers were taken out to the demolitions range, where they had to assemble a variety of different explosives, including breaching charges, anti-personnel grape shot charges, and improvised Bangalore torpedoes, a special tubular charge used to destroy obstacles like razor wire. Later, the soldiers had to work through a land navigation course, finding various points on one of White Sands Missile Range's training areas in a limited amount of time. A stress shooting segment took the soldiers into the night, where they had to conduct physical exercises and then hit small balloon targets using rifles or carbines, and then crawl or run and switch to machine guns. This proved very challenging to the soldiers, as they were already tired from the preceding activities, and the targets were rather difficult to see on the dimly lit range. The competition continued through the night with various training lane style competitions based around weapons proficiency, mine detection, and the use of other clearance tools. After staying up late into the night, the two-man teams had to complete the competition with a 12-mile march back to the battalion headquarters. Really just kind of a big test of how far individuals can push themselves as well as how much they know about uh, combat engineer skills, both legacy and some of the new stuff. Out of the 26 teams, this year's winners were 1st Lieutenant Cody Milhouse and 1st Lieutenant Andrew Story. Story and Milhouse, defending champions from the previous Stapper Steel Stakes, have been training for the event with plans to later go on and compete in the Iron Sapper competition at Fort Bliss. It's, it's very similar and we train on the, almost the exact same aspects of it, so it's excellent train up for, for the Iron Sapper event, sir. This year's second place team was 2nd Lieutenant Elena Spielman and Sergeant 1st Class Joshua Seawright, followed by Captain Nate Weander and First Lieutenant Aaron Mathis in third. With the 2nd Engineer Battalion set to move to Fort Bliss, Texas later this year, this Sapper Steel Stakes is a little bittersweet. This is uh, going on my third year, sir, and I thought they did an excellent job taking use of all the unique training territory we had, going from the small arms range all the way up to Mountain Village over there. This is very pleased with uh, White Sand supporting it all. The next competition two wee soldiers are expected to compete in will be the Iron Sapper competition at Fort Bliss. The battalion soldiers that compete in that have a title to defend, with both the first and third place from the 2014 Iron Sapper competition being two E members.